Hey everyone and welcome to another installment of Tom's World. Today we are once again back in the Chamonix State Park, my favorite place in the world. And the reason we're here is because, as you can guess from the thumbnail and the title, I've actually discovered new things in here. There's been much back and forth about the location of Blossom Farley's Tower. And um, I think I actually found out where it was, for sure. It's gotta be it. Here, let me show you. Okay, so here is the bathroom and the road that goes up to Winks Lane and State Road. Playmaster's building is right through the trees there. And uh, we're gonna go into the brush over here. Ground's a little bit soft right here. <laughs> But I discovered this one day when I was, when I was here uh, last weekend, and I realized that this area, which in the summertime you can't really see into because a lot of these, these you know, brush things that you see sticking up like vines and thorns and stuff, it kind of blocks it out. But I started realizing that it was a lot more open than it seems. I almost just fell on a log. So I know I don't have to go in too far before I find the first little slab that I came across. Okay, so here is one of them. Right here. And you can see that it is rectangle in shape. I just can't get these weeds out of the way. Hang on a second. Okay, that's a little bit better. So you can see it starts right about here, and this one is actually a longer one than the other ones. It goes all the way up to there. You can see where the edge is. This right here could have been, since it's a little longer than the other ones, this could have been like maybe the front door to the tower. Maybe. I don't know. I do know that there is a rhododendron growing up there and uh, that had to have been put there they don't just grow in the wild like that not around here plus if they did there would be more than that one plant anyway let's go check out these other slabs so there's one right here and this one you can see here let me get some leaves out of the way for you And some sticks all right so this one you can see is not as long as the other one that I was just at and there are a few of these slabs all around in here but there is also some evidence of something having been here as well so I don't know if you had watched my video where uh, I went to the Byberry Fairgrounds and I came across uh, black rocks that had these notches in them. Here is yet another rock with those same notches on it, which I had come to find out through my last live feed that I did, that this is from when it was dug out in the, in the quarry. So like they drilled down and separated the rock that way. And it does have some kind of, I, I guess a design would be the right word on the front here so I have no idea what what this could have been used for where it was but there's more this big heap of concrete right here and you can see it's got an outer shell and then an, an inner part as well we have a few of these things around here so this was obviously shaped as you can see at the top so maybe this was supposed to be exposed and this was underground. Now the horrible thing is, to my knowledge, I have not seen an actual picture of the tower itself. Like I've seen pictures where it's in the background, but I've not seen just an outright picture of the tower. So these could have been like little pillars. They could have been part of the, uh, the foundation they could have been supports it's it's really hard to say but one can imagine it definitely had to have something to do with the tower based on the location because we're a little too far away from where the barn was and i don't know if you can see the uh the building back there so that that would be like the pump house 
and the barn would have been right between us and that building and it would have been kind of far away from here so i don't know why they would have discarded something all the way here when the tower as far as i think anyway <laughs> the tower would have been like right here and if that's the case it's amazing how fast a lot of these trees have grown up over the years i mean granted yeah it's been a long time it's been since like what the 50s 60s maybe probably 60s the last time the tower was still here probably came down around the same time as the mansion so in addition to the the two slabs here that i showed you there may be more underneath this this tree that's just fallen down uh you can't really get in there but i could swear i found more than two and also while i'm searching around for the uh the other things that i had found i came across this which was kind of a little camouflaged here amongst all the uh, pieces of tree um, but you can see it's got concrete on top and if i flip this you can see that it was it was definitely a cinder block of some kind now i know the tower was mostly made of wood but i'm sure that there was some concrete involved so this also has to be from that so now I'm not too far from where I just was. It's just on the other side of this brush here. I just took the long way around. And here is more evidence. This is, this is obviously some kind of uh, water pipe and it's just sticking out of the ground. And it's pointed in the direction of where I believe the tower is. Just to give, you know, a, a reference point. There's the Playmasters. And up there is where I think it was. And look at this so now we have this this water pipe that I just found I hadn't seen it before here is the hill that on the other side of that is where the barn was uh, which this didn't used to be a hill it was all flat and you, ha you have to watch yourself back here even though they're covered with leaves they're still groundhog holes but over here now and at this point, we're far enough away that it probably didn't have anything to do with the tower, but still probably had something to do with Terobia. This, this pipe. And it's fastened together with this. So that's really in the ground too. So this could have been and if you look, you see right here, just some wire. And this could have been, you know, maybe uh, I, I heard that they had an area for horses at one point. So maybe this could have been their little corral back here. Again, you can see the uh, building poking through the trees there. And also interesting, there's actually uh, a few wires there. Or, or whatever you want to call that but these wires or steel cord I guess you could call it go right into the tree but they they aren't around the other side unless they're underground here and I did do a little digging there and around and everything and it's they're not here at all so they must be literally under the ground right here so I do think that there's enough evidence to support the theory that the tower had to have been over here with those concrete slabs because there was never anything else built in that area now I know some people who do know the history might say yeah well but there was houses like little houses made for the artist colony that lived here but they were on the other side of Logan Walk, which you could see that gentleman with his dog there, he's on Logan Walk. They were all on the other side of that. I do remember seeing the uh, drawing of the map of it, and they were all on that side. So, I don't know. I think, I think we definitely found where it was, but there's another place I wanna take you to, and it's on the other side of this little tree line here that runs right next to uh, the Playmasters. 
Now, some time ago, I was searching around for any evidence of the camp that used to be here, uh, Summerdale Day Camp. And at one point, the uh, the main building, the, the mess hall, uh, which I've shown the stairs that belonged to the mess hall, and I'll show you again, um, at one point that was also a German club as well. But it was more famous for having been Summerdale Day Camp because a local celebrity started his career there working for his uncle. Um, and the uh, local celebrity was Gene London. And you can look him up. He, uh, he had a children's show, multiple children's shows, and um, he, he got to be pretty well known. But uh, yeah, let me show you the stairs and then I'll show you what else I found. And right here in that tree line, you can see evidence of the, the day camp. Now, you see this concrete that's that's on that uh, skinny piece of rebar there. There are still in here, there's, there's multiple little pillars and they mark the property line of the day camp. The building, the mess hall, was right in here. So here are the stairs, which I'm guessing would have been the main entrance into the mess hall, or at least one entrance, and the mess hall would have sat up in here. These plants, it's weird because there's none other like these around here, so I gotta wonder if they were planted here during the time of the day camp. But there are a couple things that I found in relation to this. Now, I know that there was a pool right in front of it. Here's a piece of concrete. I know that there was a pool right in front of it in what would be that little field there. And I know that for a fact. Not only because I saw pictures, but I found part of it. But that's, that's going to be our second thing. First thing I found here was, looks like a water line or maybe a sewage line. Something. Right here. And it just kind of disappears into the ground up there. And then it doesn't resurface again. So it's... You know, kind of weird that the rest of it is above ground. See right here, it disappears into the ground. And the pool was actually over here where this tree is. So this tree is growing either on or in the pool. But there is an area of ground where you could see some of the blue, like you know how pools are painted blue, or, or they were, or some have been, some haven't been, whatever. Um, you can actually see it here. So I'm not going to lie, I was getting a little frustrated. <laughs> I was kicking around leaves and I couldn't find it. I'm like, where the heck is this thing? But I finally found it. And you can see, this, this would have been like the edge of the pool. And the pool sat in here, and you can see where that tree is. So that tree is, like I said, it's either on the edge of the pool or in the pool because it's obviously still here. And then right here, you can see the corner of the pool. So it went out that way and it curved around just like this did here. And obviously this tree is, like I said, either in it or on it. It's crazy. So yeah, there is a lot of history in this place, and it may not be, you know, really old, old history, but there's still history here. I mean, you figure, like I said, that guy Gene London, he, he honed his skills here on drawing and storytelling and stuff like that for little kids, and he went on to make a career out of it. And then you have the Logans over here, Sorobia. The Logan family goes back to the, the William Penn days, like, uh, Robert Logan's one great 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 grandfather or however many greats there were he was William Penn's secretary so and William Penn owned this land at one point so how about that for coincidence did you really think we wouldn't come in the garden come on now <laughs> you know I have to show it off every chance I can this place is awesome even when everything's going to sleep still has like a storybook kind of magic to it 
But all the plants have gone to sleep for the season. And of course, I have to share the chessboard. <laughs> I got in trouble for not showing it one time. <laughs> not really, but... I can still remember that first time the uh, first squares were exposed and how excited I got. And that's where I began digging, right in that corner. This whole park takes on a completely different feel in the fall. And, and I love it, actually. All the leaves all over the place. Some of them still hanging on. Been a weird year for the leaf changing thing. Guess it's all the uh, sporadic warm weather we were having. But right now I'm making my way back to my car. So I'll take the opportunity to say thank you for coming along on yet another adventure. There should be another video coming up in the next few days. And that one promises to be quite exciting. It's a familiar story. A story of a garden that used to have a mansion and no longer does. But it's not here in the Chamonix State Park. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And I want to thank everybody for their support. Please continue to support the channel. You can do this in many ways. You can share videos, share the channel itself. There's a button underneath the video that says thanks and it has a dollar sign on it. You could donate any kind of money you'd wish to. You can also go to my merch store, which is in the description. You can just click on the link and check it out and get yourself some Tom's World gear. All that being said, I'm going to get out of here. I will see you all in the next one. Make sure you stay safe, stay healthy, and take care.